Welcome friends, in this video I will show you how to solve KMAP efficiently and very fast. You just need to remember these 5 steps. First see whether it is a SOP or POS expression. Then make it the table and mark the grid in correct sequence. This is important. Mark the grid in correct sequence. Put 1 in exp SOP expression or put 0 in POS expression. Then pair it up. The pairing is also an important aspect. Next, simplify. So let's start with an example. Suppose f is a function of a, b, c and d, four variables. And this is the question. First, we have to see whether it is a SOP or POS expression. Okay, how to check? Over here, we have got this summation sign. This summation sign indicates that this is a SOP expression means sum of product. If it was a pi sign then it was a POS expression that is product of sum. Next make the table and mark the grid correctly in sequence. Okay, So this is the table for 4 bit variables a b c d it is 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 in the same way 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 why this type of sequence because we can change only one bit at a time so 0 over here 0 over here these two zeros and this 0 and 1 changes over here this 1 and 1 remains the same this 0 and this 1 changes and lastly over here this one remains the same this one and this zero changes in the same way over here next put one in SOP expression or put zero in POS expression our example was an SOP expression so we will put one so this was the expression we need to put 1 at position 5, 6, 7, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15. One thing over here I am marking it 0, over here 1, over here 3, and over here 2. There is a mistake in it. See, 0, 0 is and over here 0, 0. That means 0, 0, 0, 0 means 0. Then 0, 0, 0, 0001 means 1. So 1 is over here. Next 0, 0, 1, 1. 0, 0, 1, 1. This is not 0, 0, 1, 1. This is 0, 0, 1, 1. So this is 3. So I need to write 3 over here. This won't be 2. So and this will be 2 because it is 0, 0, 1, 0. 0, 0, 1, 0 is 2's value. Okay. In this way, we will again mark 0, 1, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0, 0 is 4. Then 5 is 0, 1, 0, 1. So 0, 1, 0, 1. This comes over here. So this is 5. Okay. In this way, we will go on marking each and everything. Okay. I need to put 1 in place of 5. 6, 7, 10, 11, 13, 14, and 15. So let me put 1. 1 over here, 1 over here, 1, then 1, 1 over 13, 15, and 14. So this is the in total ones. Next step is pair it up. Important step. Okay. How to pair? Pair grouping is of three types. That is form we can form octet, we can form quad, and we can form pair. At first, the first thing is we have to check the maximum group which we can make out of this. We cannot make octet. Octet means if suppose if there was two one over here, so eight ones all together, this would have make an op octet but over here this one is not present so i cannot make an octet 
now let's let me check whether i can make a quad or not yes i can make a quad out of this four quad means four and next this four and then this four so i can see that my all ones are getting involved in one or the group or either okay so i no need to uh, make any other pair with these ones next i got three quads this one this one and this one let me sim simplify these statements how to simplify first we have to consider this quad for simplifying we have to consider this quad over here we can see the value of a over here is 0 over here it is 1 it is changing so I will ignore that over here it is B B is 1 and over here B is 1 so in both case B is 1 so I will write B over here over here 1 over here also 1 the element is 1 so I no need to write any complement over B sign next C over here C is 0 over here C is 1 so again it is changing so I will ignore that D is 1 over here 1 over here in both the case it is same so I will write D over here no complement sign because it is 1 next I have to consider this this quad okay so a is again 0 and 1 so ignore that B is 1 and 1 so it we have to write B and as it is 1 so no need of any complement sign next C C is 1 over here and 1 over here so we have to ensure that we have written C over here yes we have written C then D is 1 over here 0 over here both are different so we have to ignore this next this last quad over here a's value is 1 over here a's value is 1 so I will write a over here next b's value is 1 over here 0 so I will ignore b lastly c's value is 1 over here over here also 1 so I will write C and D changes 1 over here 0 over here so I will ignore D so I get the simplified expression for this whole SOP expression so this is the answer thanks for watching this video